Now, we discuss the topic for fertilization and pregnancy. Fertilization is the fusion of a sperm with an ovum to form a zygote in the female reproductive system. When an ovum is fertilized, the female is said to be pregnant and menstruation stop until the pregnancy is over. Fertilization usually occurs in the fallopian tube. The following are the three stages of fertilization. The first stage is semen deposition. During sexual intercourse, semen that contains millions of sperms are deposited from the male penis into the female vagina. The second stage is chemotaxis. The tail of sperm enable it swim to the uterus via the cervix. Sperm swim up to the fallopian tube. The third stage is fusion of gametes. If the mature ovum is present in the fallopian tube, the sperm will surround the ovum. Only the head of one sperm will penetrate the membrane of ovum and the tail left outside of the ovum. The nucleus of the sperm will fuse with the nucleus of the ovum to form a zygote. These are the three steps of fertilization to form the zygote. After fertilization, the zygote will undergo division to form an embryo. The embryo will attach itself onto the lining of the uterus. This is called implantation. In general, there are three stages to complete embryo implantation. The first stage is the transportation of the zygote. After fertilization, zygote will move along the fallopian tube towards the uterus. The second stage is formation of embryo. On the journey towards uterus, the zygote will continue to divide and finally become a ball of cells, embryo. The last stage is implantation of embryo. When the embryo reaches the uterus, it implants itself onto the uterine lining, where it develops into a fetus over the next nine months. Implantation usually occurs about seven days after the fertilization. This is the three stages to complete the embryo implantation. After implantation to the uterus, the embryo develops into a fetus. In the uterus, the fetus further develops and eventually ready to be born as a baby. The time between fertilization and birth of a baby is called gestation period. This is a period of 9 months or 38 to 40 weeks. In conclusion, the flow of the development of a zygote to a fetus is as following. The first is fertilization. This is the fusion process of male and female gametes. After fertilization is the formation of zygote. Then the division of zygote occurs, at which the zygote divides into two cells. Two cells divide further into four cells. Four cells divide further more into eight cells. And the division continues and finally form a ball of cells. This is an embryo. At this moment, the formation of embryo completed. After the formation of the embryo, implantation of embryo into the uterus lining will occur. After implantation, the development of embryo occurs. By the end of the second month, this is the week 8. All the essential external and internal structures are developed from an embryo. And the fetus is formed. This process is the formation of the fetus. And the fetus continue develops until week 40. The final stage is the birth of baby. At the week 40, this is the end of 9 months pregnancy. The fetus is fully formed and is ready to be born as a baby. This is the flow of the development of a zygote to a fetus. Now, we will see the importance and functions of the placenta and umbilical cord. During the development of embryo, the placenta, umbilical cord, and amnion are formed. A placenta is developed in the wall of the uterus as the embryo grows. The placenta is made up of the tissue from both embryo and the mother. The fetus is connected to the placenta by the umbilical cord. The function of the placenta is as follows. The first function, placenta attaches the embryo to the wall of the uterus. The second is, it prevents blood mixing between mother and fetus. The third is, it allows the exchange of substances between the mother and the fetus. The fourth is, it allow the nutrients, oxygen, and antibodies transfer from the mother to the fetus.
The fifth is, it allows the waste substance carbon dioxide and urea to be transferred embryo to mother for removal. The umbilical cord is a tube that connects to fetus to the placenta, and it contains blood vessels of the embryo. The function of the umbilical cord is to transport substances between fetus and mother. Amnion is a thin and strong membrane that forms a sac and encloses the embryo in amniotic fluid inside the uterus. Amniotic fluid is the fluid that acts as a cushion to support and protect the fetus from mechanical shock or sudden knock. This is the full content of topic, the importance and functions of the placenta and umbilical cord. And we have just completed the discussion of topic for fertilization and pregnancy.